You want some pancakes? Huh? Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Pi's Lockdown Kitchen. Yes, it appears we are still social distancing, so still at home. So I thought that since many of us are not going to work, not going to school, um, we're staying at home, many of us are not having to get up so early, have a little bit more time. So I thought I would share with you a breakfast recipe now that we have time to make a leisurely breakfast. So I'm gonna share with you my ultimate pancake recipe. It's the best pancake recipe I've ever had. Like I've never had another pancake that I go to like restaurants, brunch places that's better than this. I know that's saying a lot, but trust me, it's so good in fact that it's one of the few recipes that I have pinned permanently to my refrigerator. So, and this is a recipe right here. I've been making it for years and years and years. It has never failed me. It's so good that I named it Epic Pancake. The original recipe, calls for all-purpose flour, which is really hard to come by these days. There's a big shortage. So I'm gonna do half all-purpose flour and half cake flour, which I have done before and it makes for super light and fluffy pancakes because of the cake flour. So I think I'll just stick with that. This is all the flour I have left now. And so FYI, when I measure flour, what I do is I just, if it's been sitting in the bag, it can be quite compacted. So I use my measuring cup to fluff it up. And then I scoop, so just use a straight edge and scrape. If I were to only do all all-purpose flour, I would not sift it, but because I'm doing half cake flour, half all-purpose flour, I am going to sift it because cake flour gets a lot clumpier. There we go. One teaspoon of baking powder, and I use this sort of paper edge here as my straight edge. It's close enough and one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and then we'll sift all that together. So this part, if I know I'm gonna have breakfast, a pancake breakfast, I do this part the night before because I wanna make sure that in the morning there is the least amount of things possible that I have to do. See all these clumps? That's all cake flour. That's why you sift. If you're using all all-purpose, just whisk. Use a whisk to mix everything together, then you don't need to sift anything. That's our dry ingredients, that's it. Pretty straightforward, wet ingredients. So in the original recipe, it says two cups of buttermilk. I do not want to use buttermilk because I have to buy a liter of buttermilk and then I end up with half a liter left and I never know what to do with it. I don't really want to make any more pancakes. So I just like, forget it. We're not doing buttermilk. We're just gonna do whole milk yogurt. Whole milk yogurt tastes a lot better than fat-free yogurt. One cup of milk and I drink lactose-free milk. So that's what we're using. You can use whatever milk you have, but not skim milk. Well, I guess if you're gonna use skim milk, you just wanna up the butter a little bit. Got vanilla, it says one teaspoon. We're just gonna, oh, that's way more than one teaspoon, but that's okay. The key to this recipe is you wanna separate the yolk and the white so that you can whip the white into a meringue. Let's see if I can do this without breaking my yolk. And that whipped egg white right there is gonna be the key to the wonderful fluffiness of this pancake. This pancake is super fluffy. There you go. So the yolks go in with the milk. Whisk that together. And this, by the way, this mini whisk was my wedding favor. So butter, you're gonna need three tablespoons. And a tip for butter is measuring butter by the tablespoon is kind of annoying. So if you know how much that weighs, so one tablespoon of butter is about 15 grams, you can just weigh it and it's so much easier to weigh butter than it is to measure volumes of butter. Oh, that's exactly one tablespoon. Okay, there's butter. I'm just gonna get that in the microwave. And the butter goes in. And because my ingredients are cold, 
I want to pour the butter in and as I whisk so that um, it doesn't because the butter is going to solidify back up so it doesn't solidify back up into like a big chunk then it's got little bits of butter spread throughout that's it so that's that so you can even do this part um, ahead of time just mix everything together leave the egg whites you know let it let's in the fridge this will sit in the fridge do it the night before have that mixed together and then in the morning it's just combining different things okay i got buttermilk yolks vanilla melted butter good so for the egg whites we're going to make a simple meringue so you want to make sure your bowl isn't greasy your hands weren't greasy when you were separating the eggs because uh, any extra grease will prevent it from reaching its full potential so fingers crossed for this i don't know what's going on but in the past like few times i've tried to whip up a meringue i have failed so i don't know if it's the eggs costco eggs um, or is it like some like my mojo my hands i don't i don't know and let's also hope that the baby will not wake up okay once it's foamy i'm just gonna gradually add in um, sugar which is gonna be a total of three tablespoons okay so here it is so you want like a soft peak so you lift your whisk and you know like you've got like a, a peak that doesn't slobber everywhere but it's got a little bit of a bend to it right here one more time Whee! see Yay! okay Whew, thank goodness i was really nervous does that ever happen to you like something works and works and works and works and all of a sudden it just stops working and you're like what did i do okay so now always wet into dry so all your wet ingredients go in there so with pancakes you don't want to over mix the batter because it'll get tough gluten will develop too much but because we're using half cake flour you don't have to worry about that too much you still don't want to over mix it but i'm just saying you've got a lot more wiggle room so you just want to stir until there's no more dry flour so rubber spat is good, but lumps are okay. And now the meringue. So you want to go in first with just about a third of it. Just to, and you can just mix this in quickly, just to lighten up the batter so that when you put in the rest of the meringue, it doesn't get deflated by the weight of the batter. So this one is the sacrifice. We're sacrificing this little bit of meringue. So it can help take one for the team take one for the team there you go so now the batter is a lot lighter we can go in with the rest of the meringue oh yes look at this looks like marshmallow fluff okay so now here we go here's my folding technique i turn the bowl i don't turn the spatula like the spatula basically is doing the same thing over and over again flipping from the bottom and I just turn the bowl. I find it's a lot more systematic. You get it done a lot quicker than if you were just kind of haphazardly fold and flip and do all that stuff. There we go. Look at this. It's already so fluffy. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to do one more flip just to get rid of that final streak. And then we are done. Okay, so I'm gonna go cook the pancakes now. The baby's still sleeping, yay. Uh, stuff to put in pancakes. You can do chocolate chip, you can do blueberries, bananas, whatever you want. I don't like to put things in the pancake. I prefer to put them on top of the pancake. It looks better than you don't have to like deal with the, the fussiness of distributing ingredients and all that stuff. But you can put whatever you want in here. Okay, let's cook this up. About a third of a cup of batter per piece look how fluffy that is oh my god this is gonna be the best pancake just a quick note because the batter is so fluffy you know how like conventional pancake knowledge says well, you wait till the pancake has a lot of bubbles on top before you flip it those bubbles it's not gonna quite show up the same way in these because it's such a fluffy batter um, so what i say go by is just take a peek underside at the color 
at, I mean, you see the edges started to look like it's set a bit, but take a peek on the underside and see what it looks like and go with that instead. Okay, I think that looks good. Now the trick is how do I flip these without getting them on top of the other two pieces? Damn it. There we go. It's a little light. Okay, so the first piece, it's always uneven. That is because the pooling butter makes that uneven. That's why the first round never looks as good. And once you have sort of like absorbed all the pooling butter and even out the grease on the pan, then you'll get a nicer, more even surface. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Okay. You gotta get the skirt out of the way. <gasps> but two pancakes per batch is just way too inefficient. Yes. Look at these. Look how perfect they look. Mmm, smells good. I don't think that was too much vanilla after all. All right, let me show you how I like to eat my pancakes. First and foremost is um, I don't drizzle syrup onto my pancake because I don't like how it soaks into the pancake unevenly. So you get like a spot with a lot of syrup and then a spot with a lot of... So I dip. So I have a little uh, bowl of pure Canadian, of course, maple syrup that I will use to dip. And then instead of whipped cream, I like yogurt. I really like that tang. Um, it makes it more refreshing. So this is my new favorite kitchen tool. This is a butter crock. One of my pet peeves is trying to spread cold butter onto toast and things. So my favorite way is to keep room temperature butter in this crock. And the way it works is there's water in this bowl. And then um, it just kind of keeps your butter fresh in there because the water prevents the butter from going bad for several weeks, like three, three weeks at least. So there you go. You get nice soft butter. Ugh, I just hate it so much when restaurants give you cold butter for your bread. Okay, so first I wanna like tear it for you just so you can see how fluffy this is. Excuse my hands, but it's the only way to show maximum fluffiness is by tearing it with your hands. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Yes, that is all worth it from whipping all those egg whites. <sighs> just look. So I'll do like a little dip and then a little slab of yogurt on top. Just a little. Mm. Man, like I've made this recipe so countless of times and I surprise myself every time how good it is, especially when I started using cake flour, half cake flour and it's like, whoa, this is like next level fluffiness. Mm. The egg whites and the cake flour makes it so much lighter. It's almost like eating cake, but not because it is a little more sturdy than cake, but it's got that like light and airiness of a cake and it doesn't weigh you down. And now I want to know if my baby will like this pancake. Mm. You want some pancakes? Huh? <laughs> See yummy? Mm hmm? Hmm? Mom? 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 Oh. Mmm. 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 Oi, oi, oi. Mm, 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 mm. 